Hi guys, Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead. Welcome to my channel. Today I am making waffles, zucchini waffles. The first recipe that I tried was a sweet waffle, a zucchini oat with some cinnamon, and they turned out really, really good. It was just your basic recipe, so I'm just going to kind of quickly run through it. I will have the recipe posted in the link below. Because the real uh, exciting one that I tried that I really, really enjoyed was a zucchini cheddar waffle. So it is a savory waffle. Over the years, I have done a lot of different things with zucchini. But even so, I'm always trying to find something new, something kind of fun, different. And this one definitely fit that. The day that I made these, I made some chicken gravy with some onions and mushrooms and peas and carrots and all kinds of good stuff in it. And I served the waffles for dinner with that chicken gravy over the top. And oh my goodness, that was absolutely delicious. My husband and I both really enjoyed it a lot. And we, it was enough to feed us for a couple nights and just a tiny bit left over, which I actually just finished for lunch before I started filming this. I don't think that I have ever made a savory waffle before. Uh, to me, waffles are always a breakfast food, and most certainly for my husband, he's not really a breakfast for dinner type person. That's never been his thing. So when I told him we were having zucchini cheddar waffles with chicken gravy on it, he uh, he wasn't he wasn't too certain but afterwards he was definitely uh, he gave it a gave it two thumbs up <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to make those waffles and also how I made the gravy I had what was left of a rotisserie chicken we had already eaten chicken for a couple nights and so I just took the carcass and I cooked that uh, in my instant pot and use the meat that was left over I would say there was probably three cups of meat by the time I was done you do not have to have a leftover rotisserie chicken to make this. So you can have, uh, you can cook your chicken any way you want. You can use breasts or thighs or legs or whatever you have. Just uh, use that. And you can make the broth by cooking it, boiling it in uh, the in the water and then you what you end up with is your chicken broth. I am just going to be showing you how I did it with what I had and you can do it that way or make adjustments on your uh, for you and what you have on available to you. Okay, so let's go make some waffles. The first thing I need to do is grate up some zucchini. I'm going to need about a cup. Now that I have my zucchini all measured, I'm going to put my liquid ingredients together and throw the zucchini into that. I used half whole wheat and half white flour with this along with the oats and the seasonings and mix those all together. And I used about a half a cup for my little waffle iron. That could vary depending on your own waffle iron. I ended up getting six waffles out of the batch, which was perfect. I served them with some of my homemade peach syrup and that was really good. Ooh, I can see all the zucchini in there. It reminds me taste-wise of like um, a little bit like zucchini bread type of a flavor. Really good. I hope you get For this recipe, you're going to need three cups of grated zucchini, which ended up being about two, uh, about two of those small to medium-sized zucchini. And you're going to need a cup of grated cheddar cheese or any cheese that you like. I use cheddar cheese. I need to get some of the liquid out of that zucchini. So I put it into the colander there and sprinkled about three-fourths a teaspoon of salt on that. Kind of stirred it up and set it aside and uh, let it drain a little bit. When it had finished draining, I squeezed out what liquid I could. It's not imperative to get it super dry, but I just wanted to get out what I could. And that's about what I had. To the zucchini, I then started to add my liquid ingredients. My eggs, my milk, my oil. 
And then I stirred that up real good. For the dry ingredients, I used whole wheat flour just to add a little bit nutritional value. Some baking powder, salt, onion powder, and a little bit of granulated garlic. And I mixed that up really well. I put my cheddar cheese into the dry ingredients so that the cheddar cheese, I didn't want it to clump, so the, the flour mixture kind of helps to coat it. I then added that to my zucchini liquid mixture and stirred that up real well. Now it was time to make the waffles. I sprayed in between each one because I wasn't sure whether or not the cheese would stick. Mine did fine, but mine is a non-stick pan. I ended up making these first. I wasn't exactly sure how or if it would be different, so I ended up kind of just putting it in there. I, I, that was too much. The first batch, I just felt like the waffle was too thick and didn't need to have that much batter. It took a long time to cook. After that, again, of course, I sprayed, and then I used about a half a cup. That's a quarter cup measuring cup I'm using, and I kind of just smushed it around and spread it out. Because the batter was so thick, I didn't think it would spread a whole lot once I closed the waffle maker lid. And that ended up being much better. The waffle was nice and crisp, and it didn't take very long at all to cook. Again, with this recipe, I ended up being able to get six. If I hadn't done it so thick, maybe I would have got seven. After that, I moved on to the gravy. I cut up an onion, several mushrooms, because this is what I had. That was the rest of the zucchini that I didn't need for grating. Uh, I also had some peas and carrots in the freezer to use up. I put a cube of butter into my stock pot and then added my veggies. I kind of stirred that up and let my veggies cook until they were nice and soft. I then added my peas and carrots after my veggies had softened up quite a bit and then put in about a half a cup of flour, uh, white flour, and I stirred that around until the liquid had all absorbed uh, into the flour. I find that the basic measurements for making gravy is about two tablespoons of flour to two tablespoons of some sort of fat, in this case butter, for every cup of liquid. And I put in about four cups. I might have had maybe four and a half. And I just poured that in there, stirred it up, and brought that to a boil so it could get nice and thick. Then I did a taste test to see if it needed any extra seasonings and ended up adding just a little bit more salt and some pepper. At that point, I dumped in my chicken and basically my gravy was done. I heated up the waffles uh, in the toaster because we had eaten a little bit later than when I made this and poured the hot gravy over that and they were absolutely delicious. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it inspires you to, to uh, use up some of that zucchini you might still have from, from your garden. Uh, this was such a, like I said, was such a good recipe that I hope you give it a try. If you do try it, please come back and let me know. I would like to hear from you. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you please consider subscribing? That really means a lot to me. All right, everybody, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.